Okay, so just a real quick walk of through of what's happening right now is we are prepped for paint. So I'm not going to start painting yet, but all of the cracks, um, bumps, knots, imperfections, anything that was sticking out or not stick or sticking in um, has been adjusted, and therefore is that that's going to get. Uh, taped up you can, it'll be covered when it's ready to be painted and then the baseboard will slide along the bottom there that will match the rest but that's not gonna the baseboard goes in after you put in the wood floor so that you can uh, attach it right directly to the wood floor just a maybe a 30 second of an inch above it to give it some room but uh, that's all gonna be painted um, gonna hang a light up there uh, it's we don't know what we're going to do yet. I have to find out what we're going to do because that box is not going to hold it up and I don't want to uh, open up the ceiling up there now. It's kind of too late for that. So we might put a different light up there. Um, uh, the beam has been uh, uh, caulked in there. It's, it's not a structural thing. It's just a when they put on the original strap, they toenailed that beam. There was never any straps on there. So from the beginning in 70s, uh, apparently, uh, you know, holding up the whole roof is not that important to them back then. <laughs> but that is the main support beam for, this, for the roof. Uh, so it is secured, it's safe, it's toe nailed and strapped. And according to uh, code, that's all that it needs to be done to it. So the only thing different is uh, if you look, let's see if I can zoom up in there. If you look, come on, zoom. I'm going to zoom. And there we go. So as we go up to there, there you go. It's just, you know, it's there, it's supported, it's not going anywhere, but there's a big gap in there. Uh, let's see, right up in that lower section there that we, we went ahead and uh, filled it in with caulking. It's not a, like I said, it's not a structural thing, it's just a aesthetics, it didn't look so good. So this, uh, you see the blue tape along the mirror. Now with mirror guys, if you get a little bit of overspray or something on it, uh, you, can, you can take it right off with a razor, uh, razor blade. Um, of course, the refrigerator is not going to be there. Um, all the tools are going to move outside. So when we go to paint this, uh, that light's going to be eliminated. So I'm not worried about it right now. We'll paint around up there. You can see the thing has been removed. And uh, in order to get the light back into the same center spot, we're going to have to have it on that little hook. So the hook is going to stay there because it's centered uh, for the dining room table. And uh, so the only thing that's going to be painted over in this area is the ceiling and the wall here going up the side, the ceiling all the way to the top. And then of course, uh, above the, the wood trim there. So you'll see how, see how that's taped off there. It'll be taped off all the way across. Uh, tiles going on that. So there's not that much concern about making it uh, aesthetically pleasing sheetrock finish. <laughs> it's not a number five finish right there. And uh, the brick is going to get covered with a, um, uh, a, actually we're putting travertine on it now. So uh, we're going to put travertine on the whole thing. It'll look really good when it's finished. And then of course we're going to make a mantelpiece for the top of it. So, and the floors are getting, uh, you can see they're kind of clean right now. Uh, uh, we're going to have, I went through, and this is a good idea, if you guys have a wood floor, um, it was really squeaky. So what we did was uh, uh, you run a line on where you're, uh, I don't know if you can see it, you run a line and uh, snap a line on your stud where your, where your floor joist is, and then what you do is you just run the, the sheetrock, see how this squeaks over here, you actually heard it. Um, somebody came in at one time and they, they uh, ran some electric down that trough right there and then you know they just cut out a piece and then put the piece back in there and they ran this over here for that electric which is good because it's there um, the only problem was is you get a little bit of squeakage there but once the I, I screwed it all down you can see the additional screws in there uh, spent like 
quite some time walking around just like that. And you get one or two squeaks now, but it was it was really bad. Like every step you took was squeak, squeak, squeak. So pretty much now it's there's really no way to get the squeak out of it that's in there now. But uh, if you walk on that, you're going to get some squeakage. So basically, when the underlayment goes on top of that, and then the wood floor that's going on top of that, uh, we'll pretty much eliminate all those squeaks and we're using one of the best underlayments available so it'll make it look really good. So that's where we're at. Um, for all my peeps in the, in the neighborhoods where it's really yucky, uh, I'm gonna leave you with this here. It's really overcast and cloudy and yucky here today too, so don't feel alone. Um, yeah, it might be like, feels like it's 80 degrees. Well, I'll tell you what the temperature is. We've, we've got uh, a thermometer right over here. Oh yeah, it's, it feels like it's a lot warmer than that, but this is in the shade, so. Really humid though, see the humidity is way high right up there, so. Uh, let me show you what we're doing out here. We're putting they had an old entry gate with just a gate and uh, what I did was is I'm attaching the wood dog ears right to the iron gate notch that out there for that and it's strapped at the bottom at the top you gotta leave some space at the bottom for for drainage to go through which is is very minimal um, and then of course on this gate uh, we'll be putting those panels there as well and uh, one of the things that you gotta remember is you know you gotta make sure you're you're gonna have clearance here and uh, when you swing the gate the boards on the gate have to be much higher than the boards that are static and don't move so uh, that you get you know your swing across the bottom and they don't bind up on anything on the flooring there because there are some issues on the tile floor and uh, that's that's where we're at today uh, downstairs uh, pretty much same thing let's see I'll, I'll go ahead and take you down there it's all now it's like flooring BAM the flooring goes in um, we have our cabinet coming today I believe that's gonna replace right there that door gets put on back there your appliance slides in there so uh, we'll make a little small patch on the floor there to fill that in you won't see it once the tile goes in uh, there's your uh, another appliance goes right here, which would be the, the stove microwave is going to go up there um, The wall finish on here is going to definitely oh, there's the owl um, Who knew that he would be in here, right? <laughs> so uh, uh, That has to be scraped just a little bit on the finish on the back it, It's it's pretty smooth right now, but there's a little couple high spots so you knock the high spots down so that when you thin set your tile to the wall, you get a nice flat finish. And that, that, that will be <coughs> our accent trim there. This uh, uh, baseboard was supposed to be taken out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that out and replace the baseboard in this room as well with the new tall baseboard. Let me take you downstairs, show you what's going on down here. Pretty much the same since we saw it, getting ready to cut some of that mirror and and uh, make, make, make the edge disappear. I'll show you right here. Um, when the mirror is older, you get this blacking and mirror is expensive. This is just the backing of the mirror goes away. So we're gonna cut a piece off of it and see if we can't salvage it. I, I don't know if it'll work. I'm not a glass cutter. Um, I've got a professional glass cutting kit. And I've seen them do it on uh, documentaries when I was staying at a uh, famous hotel that's known for, hey, I know how to do that because I stayed at the hotel and watched the documentary on TV. <laughs> so, hey, there I am. So, uh, all of our patchwork up here in this room is, is suffice. Um, so, this room here is ready to go and paint. Got the baseboard in there. Just have to go through and do some latex caulking on it. Um, in here, let me turn on the light real quick. Uh, 
this is our master bath. Uh, a vanity is going in to right there. Uh, that wall right there has been put in. What you see is the uh, the rock. This is called Dura Rock. It's uh, just a uh, concrete based stone uh, under underlayment that you put down before you tile because uh, you want to tile to something that's going to have a bite. So your thin set is what they call thin set. You don't really want uh, a really thick thin set on there. It's, there's a specific uh, trial height that you want to have. So uh, what we've got is we've got a double niche. Uh, I made that myself. It's there's no design to it. Um, so that that's going to get all sealed up. We, there's a polymer sealer that we're going to use to seal that all up to get all the cracks. Um, as far as the uh, the, this area here goes, uh, we, we just have to do some finish work and we're done. Uh, this gets all cleaned out. It's all dirty. It hasn't been cleaned out yet. But for the most part, <coughs> the, uh, the wall here is, is ready to go. And, and basically you're just going to seal it with this stuff here. Oh, let me get this stuff here so you can see it. Um, made by North American Adhesives. And it's just waterproofing and crack isolation membrane. It's an actual membrane, so um, you install that on there and it covers up your cracks. <laughs> so, uh, and it's some pretty cool stuff. It really works. Now, the vanity is going to go in here. I'm putting an air vent right there. Not the most glamorous place for it to be, but that's where it's got to be. Um, because we are on a lower level and there's no way to get up into the ceiling. So uh, the heat system is right on the other side of that wall. I don't know if you can see without these lights blaring. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I got some lights on there just for to be able to see. There's some nice lights that are going to go up there. But here you go. Uh, that's where the air vent's going to go for the heating system, which will absolutely I'll rock you around. That is where the tub is going to go, right there in that section right there in the middle. So it's going to be a really cool big screen TV right up here. Mirror doors on each side of the closet. You got one on each side. Um, going to have a complete closet organizer in there. Um, really going to look good as well as uh, be very functional and useful. Uh, there's our materials for the bathroom. Our Fan finish kit, fan uh, fan light combination finish kit. Uh, we have two of them in there, and then we have the uh, finished plumbing work. The uh, cabinets, we didn't really do anything to it. We've got some materials in there. Uh, it has to be, uh, uh, it's a rough finish on there. We have to just scuff that off. Uh, here's our vanity. I don't know if you can see it. It's really pretty. Uh, just the opposite of each other. I'm going to put the drawers in the middle, I think, because uh, you'll be able to get more uh, use out of the middle. And uh, we have granite that's going on top of that. We have uh, this closet. We drop the, the ceiling down or the wall down and make it a normal closet opening and not the big tall uh, closet opening. I think it's an 80, 80 inch opening now. Got a, a wall organizer going in there as well. And uh, so the bathroom is just getting a, a simple makeover and that's pretty much it. So uh, that's what we're doing today and uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this on Facebook. Go to Real Estate Expert Online uh, to get more training like this and learn how to do this for yourself and uh, there's, there's a, I think there's somewhere around $200,000 in this deal when it's all said and done. So I'll give you the specifics on that as far as what the profits are and when we get all done. Okay. We'll see you guys. Bye.